Hello, I'm Kutubo, and welcome back to Ride and Bridge Tale. Now, in this episode, we're doing something which, well, I love, in well, literally just a stupid amount, mainly as, as I'm a captain, I like to have vehicles that work around on the sea. And, well, it's good all having vehicles, like the boats that work on top of the sea, but what if you want to go under the sea? What if you want to live under the sea? Well, in that case, you're going to need a submarine, aren't you? So, I have right here a redstone submarine. It is fully working, and to be honest, it's absolutely amazing. I literally just love it. It's it's one of my favourite forms of transport, really. I, whenever I'm going around in a, in a creative world or anything like that, underwater, I need to go get something to eat or something like that. All I do is sit in the, in the driver's seat here, activate the machine, and then go get something to eat. And when I come back, we're literally about 2,000 blocks the other way, in that direction. It's just absolutely amazing, really. Now, you're probably going to want to see this thing working, aren't you? So, this whole thing is powered pretty much by the same engine as the Robo Dog and the Robo Chicken. I'll put links to both of them in the description below, so you can check both of them out. There is, there's multiple things this engine can do. It's an absolutely amazing engine. So, yeah, let's see this thing working. Now, you'll see in my inventory, I have got obsidian and a redstone block. The redstone block is to start it, the obsidian is to stop it, because once you start it, there's pretty much only one way to stop it, and that's put obsidian in front of it because obsidian is, is one of the unmovable blocks. So let's see this thing moving then. So as you can see, fully working and everything. Pushes forward and everything. So let's see if I can see if I can get in front of it. No, I am I am failing to even get into it. So there we go. Come on. Am I gonna be able to get into it? I can't even get into it. A bit of a fail. Right. Ah no, I'm being attacked. But yeah, as you can see it will not stop. It's even it's even gone out of its little enclosure. So it's an incredibly nice machine. In order to stop it, all you do is put in a bit of obsidian at the front and it stops the whole mechanism. Incredibly useful. So, as usual with these things, I'm actually going to teach you how to make it. Which, honestly, is absolutely amazing because then you'll be able to have these things moving around your world. And who doesn't want a redstone submarine to show your friends? It's just absolutely amazing, really. So, yeah, let's let's go build ourselves a redstone sub. <laughs> so, first of all, you need to make sure that you have the piston here. And this is going to be pretty much the height where the most of your mechanism will be. So, if it's not in line with this, then, yeah. So, one thing I would recommend is having it at least two above the ground, if you want to have it as a flying machine. And then you put, block, you put a slime block there. Then put pistons here like this. Put a sticky piston gun back there, and a slime block, and that's pretty much the basic engine done. Then we pretty much put the um, redstone block, redstone block there in order to start the engine. Well, put it in standby mode. And now pretty much gets to the stage when you're decorating it. So you put you put a nice kind of stairs there, stairs there. They're like the back fins of the sub, which is awesome. Then you put quartz blocks here. I've gone with quartz, but you can use it kind of any other block. I've just gone with quartz because it looks nice. Then you can use half slabs there, and you use another full block there. You then put fence gates here and here. You then put the redstone blocks down, and then your redstone sub is 100% ready. It is as simple as that, really. It is absolutely amazing. So, pretty much all you have to do to start it is put a redstone block here, or you just put like a button here or a button here, and you just press the button, it'll do the same thing. And in order to stop it, you just put obsidian there. If you want to lock the machine so it will not move, you just get slime block. You put um yeah slime blocks. Um oh don't want to quit. That'd be a bit of a silly thing. You just get slime blocks and put that kind of little pillow down there. And then this machine cannot push forward. All it will be able to do is push this little control room bit forward. That is all it'll be able to do, and that will pretty much be doing no harm whatsoever. All you'll do is pretty much just move the control room back to where it was. So yeah, it's a nice redstone sub, and yeah. Make sure that you do actually um, look at the chicken and the dog, because they're both incredibly amazing builds as well. Just get rid of all of this and everything. But chicken's here, dog's all the way over there. You can probably only just see it. It's absolutely amazing machines that these can be. But yeah, Redstone Sub, I would definitely recommend you building one of these, because I've built one of these, and I don't even use boats anymore. I actually don't use boats anymore because I mainly use this mainly because boats can break themselves and well this can't break itself so well unless you put TNT down but that's a different story if you want to break your sub it's up to you so yeah 
Hope you have fun with your Redstone subs, and until next time, bye!